If you have not seen this fight with Maidana and Broner, you need to see this fight. My husband is an avid boxer fan, so I get sucked into the boxing world from time to time. And I'm telling you, you need to see this fight. This is a good fight. This is probably one of the best fights that I've ever seen. It's just straight hood fighting. It's like, they just straight boxing. I, there's no other word to describe. They just straight boxing, okay? It's a really good fight. I would say... Maidana is equated to, this is my opinion, is equated to Mexican Drago, okay? If you don't know who Drago is, then go back and watch Rocky. And you'll find out who Drago is. But Maidana is Mexican Drago, okay, first of all. But this was a good fight from start to finish. Maidana came out killing. This was just a great fight. You just got to watch this fight. And I ain't going to tell a story. I secretly like Broner. He's entertaining. He's sheer entertaining. He's a clown. He's a complete clown, but clowns are funny. Clowns make you laugh. So I secretly on the low, low like Broner. I did. I did like Broner until this last fight. Okay. Number one. This is why I made this video. Number one. What he did in the first round, the little... Humping incident he did was gay, okay? There's no other word that I can use to describe it. What Broner did was gay. It was obscene. It was nasty. It was disgusting. It was totally uncalled for. The commentators, they didn't even know what to say. They was like, ah, oh, that's not something that's needed in boxing. Like, they really didn't know what to say. So, I'm going to say something about it. That's nasty. That's gay. I don't know why you would do that. That's not manly. Boxing is very manly. It's very physical. Why would you hump another man that's nasty? Number one about this fight. Problem with Adrian Broner. That's really what this whole video is about. Problems with Adrian Broner. Maybe that's what I'm going to call it. Problems with Adrian Broner. I don't know. But anyway. Number two. Mr. Adrian Broner cried throughout the whole fight. Boxing is so physical. You got to be mentally strong. You got to be physically strong. You taking hits. You taking bows. Like you just fighting. And this was a very physical fight. Like they was scrapping the whole time. And Broner was crying the whole time. Crying, I promise you, he got knocked down one time in the second round. I promise you, he got knocked down because he was crying to the referee. Wanting the referee to, I don't know what he want the referee to do anyway. It's boxing, you box. But this dude cried through the whole fight. At one point, I forget which round it was. I think he had just elbowed him or head bunted him. Um, my my Donna, um, I think he head bunted him and he had to fall on the floor and took all this time dude you boxing stuff happens it's boxing anyway i'm trying not to make this video long because i want to get to number three this is why i made the video for number three okay part of boxing is not only just boxing, but it's the afterwards. I love to watch as a fan and as somebody watching the fight. I love to watch the winner commentate on his thoughts and everything while they're going on. But I also like to watch the loser. That's part of the game. If you lose, you got to commentate. You still got to come up and tell us why you lost and what happened and how you feel. That's just a part of the game. That's just the rules. You just got to do it. But he decided, I'm not going to do it. He just ran off the stage crying like a baby again. That is not fair. I feel like that's not fair to the fans. That's not fair to nobody. Nobody. This is my plea. This is my petition. I told my husband, the boxing commissioner, like, I ain't no boxing commissioner. I nominate myself as the boxing commissioner, and as the boxing commissioner, nobody else should fight Broner. Nobody should schedule no nothing with him, create no contacts, nothing. He should not be allowed to do nothing until he give a formal interview and apology to his fans. How you just not going to say nothing and disappear after you get your butt whooped? You win like a man, you need.
need to lose like a man. So that's my commentary. Don't nobody, he shouldn't be allowed to fight nobody. Don't go on no interview. Don't talk to nobody. No radio, no TV. Stop making these YouTube videos. He shouldn't be allowed to do nothing else until he have a formal interview discussing the fight. That's all I got to say. I'm talking to you, and that's my two cents.